So find your comfortable position. Now that you have readied your space, now ready yourself. Your physical self, your emotional self, and your spiritual self. All that you now are can relax. Now really understand what that word means. Relax. Take a moment. If your eyes are open, just allow and be very aware of the word allow your eyes to close in a kind of heavily lidded manner. Just allow them to close. Allow a wave of perfect relaxation to flow through your entire body. I'd like you to wiggle and scooch a little bit and make sure that you are truly comfortable. Begin to realize what that means to you. Comfort and ease. As you remember now that you have given yourself this gift, you have put time and space to work for you. You have brought your wonderful bodies in your wonderfully relaxed state and place. And there's no place for you to go now, nothing for you to do. The loudest sound you hear is the sound of our voice. Now is a good time for you to just let go. Let go a little bit more now with each easy breath in, a gentle breath out. And I'd like you to imagine that you are doing this somewhere really beautiful, it's a real place, an imaginary place, or even right here, right now. Notice what you really like about it. Give in to gravity. Allow it to take the weight. Take the weight. Allow the support that is there to take your weight. Your physical weight, your emotional weight, your mental weight, and so your spiritual self can feel lighter. Isn't it an interesting thing to realize now that the more relaxed and very pleasantly heavy you now are, the more a part of you in that comfort, in that ease, can almost drift higher and higher, looking down on your very relaxed body, that you are safe, relaxed, <laughs> calm. <laughs> Comfortable. And you know, this is the easiest thing to do in the world. You do it every night when you sleep. You've already been in hypnosis today when you woke up in between sleeping and waking. It's a wonderful, easy, natural state of being. Allow yourself to really settle in to this comfort and ease. You remind yourself of what it really means to let go. Oh, I know there are thoughts still going through your mind. And as you let each one go, if they're important enough, they'll just come round again. Floating and drifting through your mind. Or whatever comes back. Just acknowledge and let go again. I'm going to count. I'm going to count from seven to one. Because as relaxed as you now think you are, you know there is further to go. You know, you could open your eyes at any moment and end this wonderful, relaxed state of being. And in knowing that, that gives you the comfort to go deeper. With every number that I count, with each descending number, it is easier than before. 
With each descending number, you double the sense of relaxation you now have. With each descending number, you go deeper. You may like to imagine yourself going down a very wide, very safe staircase. Each step doubling the relaxation. Each step going deeper. There are seven steps as you look down this very wide, safe staircase. You can see at the very bottom there, on the number one, there is the most relaxing bed. You just drift down even deeper and completely let go on the number one. Though there are seven steps, here we go. Down the first step now with seven. And six. Twice as relaxed as you were at seven. And as you begin to wonder how you could possibly relax even deeper on five. You trust your unconscious mind to do that for you on four and three. Nearly there now on two and one. And you are there. Amidst the sounds and the silences and the silences between the sounds, you are there. And all you have to do is breathe. Allow. As you float and drift, you can allow my words to drift through your mind like clouds drifting by a blue sky. You can allow my words to just flow through your mind like leaves floating down a mountain stream. And as you focus your attention now on the most pleasant, the most pleasurable aspects of this physical life that you inhabit, the comfort the ease, the beauty. There is beauty in everything, in the weather, whatever the weather is doing, whether it's sunshine or snow. There it is a wonderful, huge, majestic tree, a tiny flower or a weed coming up through concrete. There is love. And I want you to recognize now that you have two hands. Yes, of course. You have two hands, a left hand and a right hand. How wonderful with those opposable thumbs of yours, with all of our ancestors having gone before us, learning what we can do with these wonderful hands of ours. Our lives are in our hands. These wonderful hands that do so very much for us. I want you to recognize now that in your left hand may be the way you feel about yourself now. You regard yourself. Yeah. All the aspects of you, everything that you've ever done, accomplished, whether you perceive that as good or bad, all of your past. And the present moment here, in your left hand, all your worries, all your concerns about life, about yourself, about others, in your left hand right now. And then you have your right hand. Oh yes, the right hand. In the right hand I want you to imagine now everything that is right in life. Yes, there's all sorts of things that we can focus upon. Yes, like going to a restaurant, knowing that there are things on the menu that we wouldn't even want to put in our mouths. How can people eat that stuff? And yet, there it is. So on the right hand, we put all the stuff that we like, all the things that we adore, all the wonderful things in life. And now other people might think, why on earth do you like that stuff? 
Why do you like that film, that show, that TV program, that motor car, that motorbike, that weed coming up through the concrete? How could you possibly enjoy that sort of food? This is your preferences in your right hand. This is you, what you love. Oh, yes. Everything that you love in your right hand now. People, places, yeah. moments, yeah. aspects of life that you represent to yourself now. All the good stuff. And yes, in your right hand, everyone and everything you have ever loved, past or present, future loves even, things to look forward to to enjoy, hear the word, to enjoy, to reconnect to everything good about life, a light touch, a loving word, a piece of music, an exquisite taste, an unexpected bouquet as you walk through a wood near a river or the sea. Now, or even a vibration in the air. You know, you've lived long enough to experience, hear the word, to experience life. That means everything you've ever seen, everything you've ever touched, heard, smelt, tasted, felt. Remember now. Yes, in that left hand, there are so many things you've forgotten. And in the right hand, you remember all that good stuff now. Really understand technically now, let's get serious, a little bit of science. What are the components of love? Now, let's imagine, let's remember, let's know how we, as no. human beings, yeah. love. What is this little word of love? What does it mean? We write books about it, we watch films about it, even every action-adventure film and thriller and even all, all of the literature, all of the stories that we get so engrossed with, it has to have a little element of love. Will they or won't they? We love love, don't we? How do we love? How? In that right hand now you hold love. And I want you to now remember and represent to yourself with curiosity. In this relaxed state you find yourself in your right hand now. You recognize that when you really, really love someone or something, a pet, an animal, a child, a mother, a grandparent, a lover, you mm -hmm. want to give. And we're not talking about the cost or the monetary value of a gift. You just want to give. You feel so much generosity. You want to give. You want to give. And yet, maybe... The most precious gift you can give is yourself. Yes. For you, what does any young child want? Not the latest toy, but you, your time. Remember, you were very, very young. Even if you had a very special toy, you'd want to share that with someone that you it's love so good to, share. to play. Presence. The present of your presence to give Mom. Yes. in that right Mom. hand also now what else do you do when you really really love you just cannot help yourself by telling that person or that animal or that thing just how much you love them affirm how many times a day in your mind or through your mouth you affirm, oh, I just love you. You tell other people how much you just love them.
do you love your loved one? Oh, I love them so much. I love you. And now, what's the next thing? Oh, yes, service. You just can't wait to do things for them to make them feel good. Yes, feel good. What can I do to make you feel better? How can I take away all of your frustration? How can I make life easier for you? How can I make life easier for you? Because I love you, I want to give you gifts. Because I love you, I want to tell you every moment of every day. Because I love you, I want to be of service to you. Because I love you, I want to hold you, touch you. And if I cannot physically touch you, then I touch you with my heart. We join. Do you truly understand and remember what love is? What it feels to you to love? With that right hand now, I want the right hand to regard the left hand. Because remember, the left hand is how you regard yourself. So in your right hand, I want you to imagine here sits your higher self who adores you. You have an indication of what that means now, don't you? Because you have loved, because you love, and your higher self now loves you. Which means they want to give you gifts. They want to affirm to you just how much you are loved. They yeah. want to be of service to you. And they want to touch yeah. your heart. In whatever way you can right now, I want you to get that right hand of yours and hold the left hand slowly, easily, and hold your own hand. Yes, it is time. It is time to recognize you are loved. And now, of course, with your hands together, holding your own hand, supporting yourself, loving yourself, all that stuff you thought you did in the past that may have been wrong in your estimation, may have been unforgivable to some or even to yourself, now is healed with love. Yeah. And maybe, yes, sometimes now when you think back you might have done things differently, though now the point of power is in the present moment. You've taken a lifetime to learn how to love, to give love, time now to receive it. It's time to look at realness, what is real, what is not real enough, what have you made too real? What have you made too real, I wonder, referencing the past, yourself, your body, what you think is negative about life, the world, even your own self. What have you made too big time now for balance? You recognize that whatever's happened and whatever it is about yourself that you may think has been lacking, you are good enough striving for more yes always wanting to be better that's the nature of a human being always wanting more more love more talents more abilities more skills a, a better this a better that just as a child wants more and more as they grow to play with to explore yes more always wanting more though good enough right now so, as your higher self now embraces you, recognize they need your permission 
for you can keep them away. To feel guilty, to feel not loved is so easy for us humans and yet now is the time to allow the love as your higher self embraces you. They mm. take you by the hand into the future. You're about to meet your best possible future. How about that? You could travel through time and space. You know the things that you want because you know the things that you don't want. It's time to go visit your best possible future. The you that cannot fail. The best. The you that is loved and knows it. If you could see through the eyes of Source, if you could see through the eyes of someone that adored you, you know how that feels because you have loved others. Time now. To travel into the future. You don't know how, you don't know why, you don't know the mechanisms of getting there, but when I click my fingers, your higher self is going to take you into the future. As if you're going to watch your future self on TV. When I say so, there is a part of your consciousness that can just go straight into the future and watch your best possible self. That's going to happen when I click my fingers now. So in ways you can't quite explain or need to understand now. Allow that dreamlike quality that is within every human being to imagine in your way. Mm. You, over there in the future, days, weeks, months, years into the future, living your best possible life. Now I know you might be thinking of things, but just like when you were a child, it's the cardboard box you wanted to play with, not the toy within it. Things aren't always what brings you joy. So allow your imagination to expand. Just create your best possible environment with the behaviours you wish to exhibit and the behaviours of others towards you. With the skills and the abilities that you are so pleased and grateful to have beliefs and attitudes unshakable you know beyond mm. doubt you know and you are so pleased with the identity that you have in the world that others regard you with oh look look at you over there with dignity with grace with a certain aplomb confident, that kind of natural born confidence that comes with ease. Not knowing how things are going to turn out though, giving it your best shot. And if it doesn't quite go your way then hey ho, it's okay. Yeah. Everything's fine. You allow the mystery of life to entice you. To call your name. And that's it, your future self now calling you towards all that is wonderful, all that is beautiful. Saying, hey, come and look at this thing over here. Hey, remember this as you remember your future. How interesting. Because this best possible future self is living your purpose, the reason for being. And as you recognize now that you are looking at the best possible version of yourself, you notice what you are wearing. 
like how you have your hair. You notice where you are, inside or outside. You are so thrilled and wonder at the accomplishments, the dignity, the grace, the talents, the abilities, the behavior, the posture, the speech, the confidence. Oh, wow, look. So wonderful. This person that you admire and love beyond words now looks at you in the same way that you, right here in the present moment, can look back at all the past versions of you with love, looks upon you so very grateful for everything that you have been through, for without you, what would they be? They are so very grateful to you. Because of you, they exist. Because of you, they are living your best possible life. And yet, there may be adjustments to be done. They now stand in front of you. Your higher self behind you. Your future self in front of you. Your higher self is like a pillow of light upon which you can lean. And your future self before you now kneels before you. You both sit and they rest their hands on your knees, holding your hands. And they transmit to you all of the power that they have all that they have learned, all that they are in this best possible future of yours, all of your hopes and your dreams, all of the love. Feel it like a tingle through all of your chakras as if this energy form of your future self that is already manifest transmits itself to you through those hands of yours into your body, supported by your higher self. You feel it, you hear it, you taste it, you smell it, you touch it. It is formless form, essence. Reach for it, look to it, seek to grasp it this formless form of all you can be and you are loved you feel love gratitude being showered upon you and now in ways you can't quite understand you find yourself in a circle right in the center of the circle there is a plaque beneath your feet with your name etched thereon. You stand in this circle. A tiny spot in the centre of a vast circle. Somewhere in time and space, high above it all. And you just feel through your feet now these bubbles of energy bubbling up. Bubbles of energy bubbling up through the soles of your feet. Bubbles of energy. And they are bubbles, bubbles of laughter, bubbles of ease. Coming up, bubbling up now. Bubbling up through the soles of your feet into your ankles. Bubbling up through the ankles into the knees. And further now, feeling a lightness bubbling up through the legs into the hips. Into the lower abdomen. Bubbling up now, bubbling up through the torso, bubbling up now through the arms, into the shoulders, bubbling up through the neck, into the head, bubbling up and now showering out of the top of your head these bubbles of energy, bubbles of future passion, grace, beauty, abundance, prosperity, love, all the good stuff, whether you know their names or not, bubbling up now from this most 
possible potentiality of future prosperity in all of its labels, with all of its trappings, with all of those qualities of the environment, including your own body that you wish to manifest, bubbling up through you and now showering at the top of your head, cascading all around you, all around the circle, falling like a fountain into that circle as you scoop it up now through the bottom of your feet again. Bubbles of love, waves of love coming up now, blending with those bubbles of energy. Feel the love, the grace, the aplomb coming up through your body now and yes, at the top of your head. All the grace, all the beauty. Now you are a fountain of abundance and you suck it back up now through the feet. Suck it up through the feet and now you feel ease. It's so easy. Life is so much easier than before. Feel the ease swirling with the love and the light and the bubbles of laughter and the ease now coming out the top of your head like a shower abundance all the way cascading down all around you. Now what can you see? Now what can you feel in this bubble of abundance, in this circle of excellence in which you now are? You feel so wonderfully loved and loving. What it's all about, yes? To be loved, to love yourself yourself everything that you are everything that you have been everything that you will now be as you are a traveler between yesterday today and tomorrow and all the days thereafter your life this huge wonderful fabulous circle of excellence yes. love light um laughter and ease. Oh yes, love, light, laughter and ease. Bubbling up through you, swirling through you, energizing all of your chakras, they're all spinning in the wonderfully correct direction now, all balanced and perfect, all glorious and shiny and colorful and full of energy, energizing you from the tip of your toes to the top of your head and beyond. Oh, bask in this shower of abundance that comes out atop of you and radiates throughout your entire experience, past, mm -hmm. present and future. You are so much more than you thought you were. As you broadcast your light, your energy and yes, your love to every corner of the planet, your world, your body, your mind, your heart, your love. This is your time now. You know how to do what you do to breathe in through and out and in to follow where the breath begins to a place where safe, alone, in comfort, peace, the warmth of home it also softly tells you now, this really is your time now. Your time now. Your time, your body, your mind, your heart, your love. And what are you going to do with it? That's the magic. So want to share. 
Oh, you want to play with it all and you want to share it all and you want to love and laugh in ease and comfort and joy and excitement and passion. In a moment you will come back to full conscious awareness, changed in ways you cannot quite explain, for you know you are loved. You know your best possible future awaits you and the point of power is in the present moment so as you look upon all that has gone before all that you have and all that you will have in the future and be there's so much to look forward to in a moment you come back to full conscious awareness feeling good, feeling better than before. And any time you hold your own hand, all these good feelings, this shower of abundance comes back to you. Any time mm -hmm. you hold your own hand, interlace the fingers and press those palms together, you know that's the past and the future joined here in the present moment. You know that you are loved and you are loved and you know how to love and you know how to receive love it's what life's all about the thrill the joy in the heart of mystery you realize in the past you've always wanted to know how things turn out you didn't when you were a young child you had the excitement of wanting to find out where life would take you, somewhere along the road. You suddenly wanted it all planned out, how much money you'd have every month, what you could rely upon, and now that gets so boring. Because it's all about the passion, it's all about the drive, it's all about the enthusiasm, it's all about finding beauty. Beauty. Everything. Yes, in a moment, you will come back to full conscious awareness. I'm feeling good, feeling marvellous, feeling better than before. Yes, you will. In a moment, you'll come back to full conscious awareness. Though not before you have gathered all of the energy in those hands of yours. All of those energies, bringing them together in those hands of yours so that you know they are anchored. Any time that you find those hands coming together, whether consciously or unconsciously, in the future, every time you need it, every time you don't, every time you bring those hands together, you feel these energies wash all over you, all through you, feeling good, feeling better than before, feeling good for no reason. No reason other than you are alive. Thriving with energy and passion. Oh yes, in a moment, you will come back to full conscious awareness. Feeling good, feeling better than before. Though not before you have gathered all of those energies and you really understand what it means to love, what it means to receive love, what it means to feel good. I want you to now check in with yourself. Your physical self, your emotional self, your mental self and your spiritual self. Because all of you are now present. All of those aspects of you are now present and want to join with you in every moment of every day going into your future with love, with light, with laughter and with ease. Oh yes, with love, with light, with laughter and with ease. You don't yet know what you have accomplished today. You don't yet know the value of you being able to put those hands together at some point in the future, days, weeks, months, hours into the future, putting those hands together and everything is right. Even those things that aren't right, everything is right, balanced, because you are loved. Loved. And now you know what that means. You love your future. You love your past. You love all of your successes and your mistakes. And you smile in the knowing that this is what life is all about. Oh yes, in a moment you will come back to full conscious awareness, feeling good, feeling better than before. And with one coming up further now, eyes beginning to sparkle, two, feeling good, feeling better than before, three, 
coming up further now calmly confident and completely relaxed and four and five eyes open back to full conscious awareness feeling good feeling better than before